hey hi hello welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is lauren and i used to be a librarian and now i just talk about books on the internet and we are filming so i took off work um for tomorrow tomorrow is friday um i didn't even make it through a short like holiday week and i was like we need a day off we need a second long weekend in july and you know what i'm gonna do with my long weekend I'm gonna film, I'm gonna read, we're gonna have a good time. So for this particular video, I am doing the book scavenger hunt and I am using this to find my TBR for this weekend. Now I found the questions from Mel from Melanor Reads and from Cassidy from Covers with Cassidy. Um, if I remember, I'll link them down below or you know, you could search for their names and you'll find them so I'm wearing my late night crew sweatshirt even though it is like 80 degrees but whatever so we have 10 questions and we are going to see if we can find 10 books um, that I have not read yet that I might have an interest in reading um, I'm having this habit lately where I'm like reading a couple chapters and I'm just not feeling it so I think I'm going to force myself to read 10 different kinds of books or like an assortment of books because I don't know if I can read 10 books in a weekend, we will see. Um, just to get me back in the groove because before you know it, Veda will be here and some of us are crazy and we think we want to do that again. So it's time to start making booktube content again, I suppose. So. I have my handy dandy questions here so if you see me looking down that's what's happening if you see me looking up it's because I'm looking at myself in the screen to make sure I don't look stupid yeah so anyway question number one is a book you're glad you didn't judge by the cover so I am going to spin that into a book with a bad cover um, because obviously I'm going for books that I have not read yet um, for a TBR to read this weekend so I need to find a book with a really really bad cover to try you know yes okay this cover is terrible this is easy I bought this book used um, because the description chef kiss the cover so so boring we have just one touch by maya banks it says it's a slow burn novel and yes this is the book that is about a religious cult so we have raised in a strict religious cult since she was a young girl jenna has no connection to the outside world beyond vague flashes of memory that seem to be from another life memory she clings to when the cult leaders discover her extraordinary ability to heal and punish her years held captive and forced to do the cult's bidding have turned jenna into a meek timid woman or so they think in truth she is mer merely biding her time waiting for the perfect moment to escape when a terrified young woman tries to steal the suv of Devereux security's toughest recruit isaac's anger quickly turns into a strange sort of protectiveness for the beautiful bruised stranger. But when they are caught in the firestorm of bullets and Isaac is hit, he's sure the end is near until Jenna touches him and closes his wounds. As he tries to bring Jenna to safety, she refuses to tell him what danger haunts her or how she healed him. But Isaac vows to do whatever it takes to gain her trust and her heart because with just one touch Isaac knows he wants Jenna to be his forever um, I'm not sure what's going on but there's cults and this cover is awful so we're gonna try it question number two we need a book that is heavier than the last so I need a book that is heavier in weight than this one so let me see if I have my scale on Please excuse the mess on my desk, but we have 9.2 ounces. Okay, 
So I need something that is heavier than nine ounces. And this is a pretty small like paperback romance book. So honestly, that could be really easy. And you know what? I'm seeing something that might, that might be it. I'm gonna weigh it, but I know this is heavier. Coming in at one pound, two ounces, we have Bunny by Mooney, Mooney? No. Bunny by Mona Awa, Awad, Awad? I don't know. We're going with a pink theme, maybe. Um, so I know that this book is, excuse me, I know this book is Dark Academia, and I'm pretty sure this book is being featured in either Fairy Loot or Illumicrate, so I do want to get to reading this because... I'm gonna have an item based on it. I want to know what the item is. Not that I ever do, but that's fine. Okay, so are you actually a booktuber if you're not filming and then your memory card fills up because you're bad at planning? I, you know, it happens. So anyway, I don't know where that cut off, but my book that is heavier is Bunny by Mona Awad. Awad? A what? Uh, I don't know. We tried. Um, so I don't really want to know much about this, but I know that it is dark academia and I'm pretty sure it's fucked up and that's all I know and that's all I want to know. So there's book two on our long weekend TBR. Book number three, a book with the same number of chapters as the last book. So this book has... Thirty-eight chapters. So I have to find something with thirty-eight chapters, which sounds like a lot, especially since this is pretty small. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Don't know how it's five a.m. again. One so many episodes of friends. Stupid boys call me rereading text Though it makes me sick I can't seem to quit the adrenaline Wasting my youth in Pressing the snooze when The sun's still in view then Why do I do this? I'm being stupid Testing my limits now Don't feel alive when I'm a winner especially because part of my plans for tomorrow let's focus on my face there we go part of my plans for tomorrow is to go see the new Thor movie so ha! I have Black Widow Forever Red by Margaret Stoll oh Margie Stoll she is one of the founders of um, y'all fest y'all west um, so this is a Black Widow origin story, I believe. Um, I got it for three dollars. <laughs> um, basically it's about Natasha Romanoff. She's one of the world's most lethal assassins, trained from a young age in the arts of death and deception. Natasha was given the title of Black Widow by Ivan Somodorov, her brutal teacher at the Red Room, Moscow's infamous academy for operatives. Um, Ava Orlova, is just trying to fit in as an average Brooklyn teenager, but her life has been anything but average. The daughter of a missing Russian quantum physicist, Ava was once subjected to a series of ruthless military experiments until she was rescued by Black Widow and placed under shield protection. Ava has always longed to reconnect with her mysterious savior, but Black Widow isn't really the big sister type. Until now, when children all over East Europe begin to go missing and rumors of smuggled Red Room tech light up the dark net, Natasha suspects her old teacher has returned and that Ava Orlova might be the only one who can stop him. To defeat the madman who threatens their future, Natasha and Ava must unravel their past. Only then will they discover the truth about the dark-haired boy with an hourglass tattoo who haunts Ava's dreams. So this sounds like a good choice and it has 37 chapters. So it's one short, 
of the 39, but I think it works. Okay, what is our next question? We have, oh no, this is not gonna be good. Question number four, a book where the same author has blurbed it and the previous, or the author of a previous book has blurbed a new book. So, this book is blurbed by Booklist. Okay, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. Or a book blurbed by Margie Stoll which um, I might be able to do that. Um, okay, so we're gonna um, cheat is what we're gonna do. And instead of blurbed by, we're going with a theme. Okay, so the book that I have chosen because I could not find anything that is blurbed by Margaret Stoll. And I found like one or two things that's blurbed by Booklist, which is surprising considering wait hold on why do i have no books with blurbs i just don't know um so we're going with the theme of a marvel and for this book we're gonna have the unstoppable wasp built on hope by sam mags and i actually bought this special edition during y'all stay home which is the um, like book festival that is hosted and created by Margaret Stoll. So, not blurbed by her, but she helped pick this author to be in her book thing. So, we're gonna count this. And it looks fun, and it's Marvel, and it's women in Marvel. So, we're gonna do it. Um,. Book number five is a book with an opposite cover. So something that is opposite of this purpley pink. So on the color wheel, what is opposite of, we're gonna say purple. I think it's yellow, yellow. Good, okay, which is convenient because I have a stack of yellow books here from an Instagram prompt. So, for this, you know, oh, we're gonna go with kind of a theme. Is this the opposite? I don't know. This is YA, this is adult. This, they're both kind of like sci-fi fantasy, so that's fine, but they're opposite colors. This has a person on it, this does not. Oh, the writing on this one is yellow. The writing on this one's like black. We're gonna do it. So we have Recursion by Blake Crouch. This, I know, I haven't read it. It's blasphemy. This is the one with memory um, loss type of things and false memory syndrome and I want to go in kind of blind because his are his books tend to be dystopic sci-fi and so I don't really want to know what's happening because I want to find out in the book so book number or question number six is find a book published in the same year as the previous or closest to it so actually recursion was published in June of 2019. So, one of the easiest ways to find this would probably be to go to the Book of the Month shelf because we've got a hoard there. That was easy. So, we have Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. This is a YA fantasy about a girl and there's a library and this cover is gorgeous and it was published in 2019 and I feel like this is one of those books that is made up of all the things that I need I just need that push to read it so this is that push so question number seven we're almost there a book with the reverse amount of pages so this book has 
453 pages so I need something with 354 pages which is actually not a lot hold on you know do I want to look more to find something that's closer or do I want to this is not necessarily what I was looking for but we have regretting you by Colleen Hoover and this is apparently a book of the month version. Um, what, I don't know anything about this. How do you pick up the pieces without gluing everything, glue holding everything together? Morgan Grant and her 16 year old daughter, Clara, would like nothing more than to be nothing alike. Morgan is determined to prevent her daughter from making the same mistake she did by getting pregnant and married way too young. Morgan put her own dreams on hold Clara doesn't want to follow in her mother's footsteps. Her predictable mother doesn't have a spontaneous bone in her body. With warring personalities and conflicting goals, Morgan and Clara find it increasingly difficult to coexist. The only person who can bring peace to the household is Chris, Morgan's husband. Clara's father and the family anchor, but that peace is shattered when Chris is involved in a tragic and questionable accident. The heartbreaking and long-lasting consequences will reach far beyond just Morgan and Clara. While struggling to rebuild everything that crashed around them, Morgan finds comfort in the last person she expects to, and Clara turns to the one boy she's been forbidden to see. With each passing day, new secrets, resentment, and misunderstandings make mother and daughter fall further apart. So far apart, it might be impossible for them to ever fall back together. So we've got a mother-daughter story. That's not what I expected, but I'm sure it's romance and I'm sure it's gonna um, destroy me. So there we go. Uh, book number eight, last letter, first letter. So the, la oh no, this is not good. The last letter of this book is U. So I need to find a book that has a title that starts with the letter U. Uh, I don't even know if I can name a book that starts with a U. Well, this is a fun read. So, for my book that starts with the letter U, we are ignoring the fact that this starts with the, and we're just going with the word. The Unhoneymooners by Mooters? What? Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I have not had a good experience with Christina Lauren in the past. Their books are very hit or miss for me. Um, I don't always they're just not interesting sometimes and the writing is not that good and the smut is not that good there's the tea but um this one I know is about a couple and they have to oh a couple that calls off their wedding and then the groomsmen and the bride's sister right have to use the tickets to go on the honeymoon or something. They go on the trick trip for two sworn enemies on the Hawaiian trip of a lifetime. Anything can happen. Maybe even love in this romantic comedy from New York Times bestsellers of roomies. So enemies to lovers, vacation vibes. I'm in. All right, book number nine. A book with a similar spine. So, this spine is blue. Oh, I have a good one for this, but I don't want to read it. The spine is blue, and it's very beachy. If I needed... Listen. Oh. No, that doesn't match. I thought this was more, like, beachy. Hear me out on this one. These spines are not similar in color, but they're similar in vibes because we've got like the beachy hibiscus flowers. We've got beachy hibiscus flowers. It, yep, uh-huh, we're counting it. So for our next book, we have a lot of yellow going on here. That's fun. So for our next book, we have Reckless Gills, Gills? Oh my God. This is only our first video we're filming and we are already talking like crazy person. So we have 
Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. This, as far as I know, is some sort of mystery thriller. We have one island, six visitors, and countless secrets. When one person goes missing and another turns up dead, the remaining friends wonder what dark currents lie beneath this impenetrable paradise and who else will be swept under its secluded chaos. With its island, gothic sensibility, sexy suspense, and spine-tingling reimagining of an Agatha Christie classic, Reckless Girls will wreck you. Well, so this is an Agatha Christie retelling, which I haven't read any of her books, so it's going to be new to me. All right, so for our last book of this challenge, we have The Next Color of the Rainbow. So this spine is yellow, so the next color is G, which is green. So we need a book with a green cover spine thing. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Yep. That was fast because I really want to read this. Um, I read these books out of order, but look at this cover. Nope. Not my face. Look at the dogs. So cute. So. This is like a, I don't know, like teal, green, blue. It's green, okay? My game, my rules. Well, I didn't make the questions, but this is my video. It's my rules. We have Heart on a Leash by Alana Martin. I already read this book, Paul's and Prejudice, which is a Pride and Prejudice retelling um, set in Alaska with dogs. Love it. So this was fantastic. This is actually the first book in the series. So I should have read this first, but I had no idea it existed. Um, and I don't even know what it's about, but these books are just so cute. Um, so well written and just fun. They're set in Alaska. This one we have Taylor. Let's see. Young pups teach frozen hearts new tricks when a pack of rescue huskies inspire love and romance in a coastal Alaskan town fractured by fruit feuding families. So I think we have an enemies to lovers situation, which I'm here for always. So anyway, we have 10 books. Hold on. Hold please. We have, oh my, 10 books in our stack. Um, will I read all of these in a weekend? Absolutely not. But will I make a dent? Hopefully. I mean, these are all books that I was interested in at one point or another. So in theory, I should want to read them at some point. We have a nice variety of romance. We have dark academia. We have Marvel. We have sci-fi. We have romance. We have Colleen Hoover. What more could you want? So anyway, let me sit these down because they're kind of heavy. So anyway, keep an eye out for the vlog that I may or may not actually do for this long weekend where I will read these books and talk about them. Or I won't read these books and there will be lots of b-roll and lots of me not reading. There's the tea. So anyway, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Um, leave an emoji of a dog down in the comments if you want to let me know you were here but, but you don't have anything to say. Um, if you've read any of these books, let me know. Are there any good ones that I should go with? Are you going to see the Thor movie? Let me know. Let's talk about it. No spoilers, obviously. Um, and I guess I'll just see you in another video, whatever comes out next. Hopefully it won't be so far away this time um, and I will get my filming mojo back and I think that's it. So bye for now.